The restoration company of confidence in Dubai is Vijay Pillai, who has specialized in the restoration of classic cars for about 11 years. Max Garage was, uh, is about 28 years old today. <coughs> and uh, we started way back in 78. I was working for the company from 84, then uh, bought it up in 92. And since then we have moved on and uh, about six, appro approximately five or six years we started a new division into a normal service and repairs of four-wheel drives and cars uh, to classic cars. Even a test drive through the busy traffic of the roads of Dubai belongs to it. Vijay Pillai had his first contact with vintage cars when a customer from Australia wanted to restore a Daimler Dart. The spark and the idea to keep as close as possible to the original skipped over. One of our clients, Simon Chris, was the most responsible person for taking that step because he got his Daimler Dart in from New Zealand for uh, restoring and he was hunting down, uh, hunting down shops here and somehow we managed to mentally click and uh, that's that's what got it started and today we are uh, we have a few re restored cars in in the in our in our list and um, and as we go we are still learning um, the new suppliers the sourcing of parts some of them to be manufactured and uh, every car is starting to tell a story. In the meanwhile, the classic cars fill four halls of the Max Garage of Vijay Pillai, which wait for their restoration and completion. The time is short because the Concours d'Elegance in Kuwait is the next appearance for most of the beautiful vintage cars in the region. This is a fine example of the famous Rolls Royce, and um, it's um, a collection of a family. In, in, in this part of the world. He's got a few models of it. Uh, we are sort of preparing it for the uh, show in Kuwait in a couple of months. And uh, it's a Hooper body, Hooper body and uh, 50, 1954, close 1954 model. Presenting the rear Ardenau 300 convertible, Vijay Pillai can hardly conceal his pride as he tells about the high state guests who have traveled in this classic. Especially this, uh, they call it the famous Adenor series, is a 300D Cabrio, 4 door Cabrio, uh, 1960, and uh, apparently around 65 or 68 pieces were built of this particular model. Um, this is a very stately car. Um, very many uh, high leaders and royalties have traveled in them and uh, we, we have uh, restored, we are in the process of completing the restoration which took us close to seven years. Uh, but still there are small things because of the availability of, non-availability of certain intricate parts uh, which we are still hunting for. and. Um, Hopefully very soon. It's already on the road, but we still got to finish a few of the bad chrome jobs and, you know, and uh, it's in the process of completion. The engine was uh, done by a famous company in uh, the US. <coughs> they only do the 300 uh, engines and uh, that took them about two and a half years to finish. Um, so we have put, we have done all the other bits like the the frame up restoration completely. So it's it's almost complete. Maybe another month and it should be permanently running on the road. The owner had to be very patient because the supply of original spare parts for such a rare vehicle is extremely difficult. To get a genuine part, especially rubber item, is becoming a very uphill task because apparently Mercedes is not supplying to the distributors or 
even if they are getting one, it's exorbitantly priced. <coughs> so it just sort of defeats the whole. Uh, so most of the time in the restoration, we have to work two times uh, over the same item because of the non-fitment of the part, which doesn't sit well mm -hmm. because it's not a genuine item. So in this, we have made at least ninety-nine percent of them are are genuine parts on this car. So that that took us a long time to put it together. Every time you have to wait, and there's a lot of loss of time to achieve it. Originality. This has quickly been adapted in the land of the one thousand one possibilities. Is most important for the restoration of a vintage car, which will gain value. This is why the owner of the Jaguar provided VJ Pillay with all the details he could get hold of. We're finding more and more in the UAE that um, the old uh, just you know mend it to do um, a, a, a approach has has developed over the last few years to become really much much higher quality standards of restoration. There are still people here that are just fixing the cars for general use. But there is a, a, certainly a movement of, of car restoring companies um, that are producing international standards. It's certainly not everywhere here, but uh, there, there are a, a definitely an increasing number of people that are taking a proper interest in the way to restore these cars. And um, this body uh, has no filler in it at all now. It is all original lead loaded, using techniques that uh, have been developed in, in India uh, to restore the old British cars that they've been keeping on the road for the last 50 years. And so those skills still exist. The original traditional panel beating skills still exist in India. And the people that are now working on my car uh, are people that have come to Dubai and are working for garages here that, that are continuing to do that kind of work. Um, the young man that's done a lot of the work on mine, he wouldn't be any more than 25, 26 years old, but he comes from a family that have been blacksmiths for 500 years. And so, you know, metal is in this guy's blood, and uh, it shows in the way he works on the car. They don't know the correct things to do in terms of what's original and what's not, so they need to be guided at every step in the process, but their skills and their quality of execution is as good as anywhere else in the world, I believe. Anyway, the proof of that will be when I finish my car. People can come and have a look and tell me whether I've got it right or not. In the local market, we don't have any uh, inputs that we can get of, uh, of these models, so we'll have to go through the net or go back into the history of all these cars, and that's a time-consuming affair. Now it all depends on the client's choice of how much time and money he wants to spend for it. So eventually on that basis we do it. We, do it. we don't do anything that is non-standard non to the car. I mean the other day we had an experience of a Corvette driving and it looked a 82 model but when we opened the bonnet it was having a latest Corvette engine inside it, Chevy V8, a new one and we straight away refused to do that because we, we don't do anything that's non-standard on the car that came up with it. The sheet retinal work is being carried out by specialists, who passed on the craft of blacksmithing in the family for generations. There is no comprehensive training to vehicle restorer in the United Arab Emirates. Therefore, Vijay Pillai performs weekly courses of training for his employees. Uh, most of our technicians or uh, panel beaters are uh, uh, experienced with their trade coming down from the family generation. Because in India we still have blacksmiths and uh, they, they, they are in the, in, the, uh, in the family and they pass on to generation to generation. And uh, that is where uh, we, the boys that we have can shape anything, rebuild to its original uh, glory. Uh, that has been a plus point on working on these classic cars because as you know not very many parts are available these days. As I told you earlier we also have done a complete door and a bonnet for an XK140 uh, in, on aluminium sheet with aluminium sheet rebuild the whole uh, process. And then we have in-house training we do. 
uh, when te technology changes, we introduce them to new tools, we introduce them to uh, uh, the, uh, the application of it, uh, the safety measures we take on educating them. So we have a weekly in-house uh, training and if it is any new equipments then we the suppliers are uh, requested to come and give us a demo so we we do we do send them for even paint shop training water base training so the staff is periodically updated on uh, as in this country you don't have an ex ex exclusive institute to teach them all this trade so we have to do it in house the high quality of Max Garage by Vijay Pillai has already spread across the national borders. We have sent cars international. We have sent four or five cars to Germany after restoration. We have sent one to India. There is a uh, few gone to the other Gulf countries. Um, but otherwise it's all uh, locally. I mean, most of the cars are here. Um, and then we have the normal normal uh, section to work on also. So uh, at present, yes, most of the cars have been done locally. But we are looking at uh, getting um, panels from other parts of the world as uh, labor is a bit more cheaper here and we can reproduce them to the original. We are working on it to, to make contacts to get those parts here and re-export it.